right, good morning guys. It is day two of the Kennedy Meadows OHV area and the 2021 Beta 500 RRS. I'm standing on this side of the motorhome next to the generator so it drowns out the blaring country music over there so I don't get copyrighted. But uh, yesterday was awesome. Um, just getting geared up right now and sending Haley a couple of texts through the uh, inReach to let her know all is going well. And uh, anyways, John and Paul are actually going to load up this morning and take off. Um, they were planning to leave today anyways, but I guess they're just going to get a jump on it and they're a little bit sore from yesterday. So Randall, Randall and I are going to get geared up and we're going to head down this road to Jackass Trail. And then we're going to take that uh, north-ish and we're just going to go as far as we can go and try to connect and route back somehow. So it should be a pretty epic ride long. The bait is at five hours right now and I should be doing a break in oil change. Um, in fact, I plan to do it more around that three, four hour mark, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. Um, I think I can squeak out a few more hours and it's pretty mellow, slow riding. Um, I would like to get that oil out of there, but I don't think it's going to happen right at this moment. So hopefully it doesn't blow up. But bike's been fantastic. Air pressure has been everything for me to have a good time up here. So I've got the front pretty low, a little sketch. Hopefully I'm not jinxing anything, but it's at eight pounds. It's a tube and uh, the rear I've got a 10. So just got to watch those sharp edge rocks, try to avoid the uh, blunt hits if I can, but should be an epic day guys. Stay on, uh, stay on board. Um, we're going to go have some fun, get after it. It's evident now, I suck. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what the deal is with me, but I came up here feeling confident, feeling good about myself. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen a worse YouTube video single track than what I just put out there. So I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, man, it's tough for me. I'm, I'm struggle busting getting, uh, getting the hang of this again. I don't know if it was that I used to mountain bike. I don't know if it was here because I was on the 300 last time. But I'm just having a heck of a time getting uh, standing up. You see me sitting down a lot because I don't possess the skills to stand up and get over the rocks. It's one or the other. I'm going to stand up and eat shit or I'm going to sit down and, and paddle my way through it. And that's the method I'm taking right now. So Randall's doing awesome. He's having to wait for me, but he's a good friend. He, he won't say anything bad. Not, not to my face anyways. But the bikes are doing good. We, are, we just came up jackass. Um, and I believe we're looking for this Smith Meadow trail hopefully points us off to the right yeah cool how's your bike though because he told me what's my stock rear do you know 48 so i'm running the stock rear sprocket i did put the 13 tooth on the front like i mentioned yesterday i didn't know till last night you're running a 51 51 it's great 
I, I, second is pretty much perfect unless it opens up and then yeah. I'll go to third. Yeah. Rarely do I go down to first for some of that super technical stuff. Yeah. But and I'd say the gearing's spot on for it. And I I wish I would have done that. I don't think it would have made me necessarily better, but the trouble I'm having is first gear for that was much more comfortable, yeah. but it revs too high, so you can't go very fast. And then second, I'm having to modulate the clutch a ton because I'm going to kill it every five seconds if I'm going that slow. So next time I'll probably, well, I'd probably just go ahead and change that sprocket out at home because I guess this is all we're really going to be doing on these bikes. So. Well, yeah. I mean, the only bad thing is when you're on the street. You're topping like out. 55, 60, you're just like. Bah! Screaming. Yeah, screaming. <sighs> But, you know, that's like you said, we didn't get these bikes to do like yeah. long road sections. Just on it. connecting trails. Yeah. Yeah. And it's great for that. I mean, I'm super happy with it. I think the weight, the balance are really, you know, nice in these bikes. Yeah. Um, they do feel light. You know, I had a little bit of electrical connector problem in the beginning. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, Not really. It just, you, the uh, connection came loose. Well, yeah. And then the connection connector wasn't great because it came loose again. Yeah. And I just had to zip tie it to keep it from coming loose. But, and no I mean, problem no sense. No big deal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like we put the bikes through their paces yeah. this weekend no mechanical so far right yeah <laughs> you know? um no i mean the electric start without a uh kick starts still a strange concept to right. me but i mean they crank right up yeah yeah and and you know garrett is underselling himself Gee. and being humble because i am not he's riding really well you know we had some other guys with us and you know they ride more than he does he hasn't been on a trail in years and just picks it right back up that's and, a good friend right and there i usually just have to pause a second and there he is <laughs> so don't believe that he's uh well I, maybe for his standard and expectation i think we play to our strengths and we can we can say wholeheartedly randall's at home doing this he's been doing this since he was a kid yeah and i have not i'm at home in glamis and sand which is weird yeah faster is better for me the rocky stuff he just he's like it through like through like a rabbit i don't even understand you just <laughs> see him bouncing down the and i love this kind of riding i mean yeah. like this is what my favorite style of riding yeah I, and I've never ridden a place that had this much single track, you know, like other places I ride, you ride, you know, fire roads, double track to get to yeah. a mile of single track. Yep. And, oh, this is great. And then you got to connect to another one, you know, so yeah. just being on single track continually. All day. Oh my gosh. All new trails. I mean, yeah. I can't get enough of this. This is going to have to be an, I think we said last night, an annual, minimally once, maybe twice a year trip. Right. Yeah. Maybe a spring and fall. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's perfect. And it is hunting season. Interesting. Uh, Today was opening day up here, which we didn't realize the camp's full of hunters. I'm sure they hate us, but um, yeah, there's there's guys in the woods with rifles and every. I'd, our opening season where we're hunting is two weeks from now, so that kind of like surprised us. But it looks like a good hunting area. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. We've seen some deer I love yesterday. The trees and the elevation. And, yeah, you know we've had a little bit of smoke from the fires, but generally we just kind of pass through it. Yeah, you know, and then it's gone. It's not like we're just continually smoked out. Yeah, we've been very fortunate on the weather. I mean, it's like probably 65 something right now yeah, yeah. Perfect. so we're gonna take a little breather and then hopefully we'll find this really epic trail that i remember again from five years ago and i think we'll i think we'll get it this today we're gonna be out for a while so enjoy <laughs> check back when you bit bye steering stop <laughs> gotta take those out
man the gopro on my helmet just died uh couple minutes back but beautiful fall colors i think you guys got to see a little bit of it before it cut out but that was the rest of jackass trail right um jackass peak jackass peak trail yeah. so now i'll show you guys the sign in case you all want to come up here and find it if i can't see it from that distance so this is the sign that we're at now all right freeze frame good and uh we've come across this big meadow and we're going to take this this trail here 35 e15 and it looks like single track going through the meadow and we're going to try to get all the way over to those mountains over there and there should be a part of the kern river fork of the kern river that hopefully still has some good water in it and then uh we'll pick it back up from there i gotta swap batteries on my helmet <laughs> That's some cold water. Yeehaw!
Oh, it's fun. Damn. Really, actually dialed in. So, 
I'm also probably going to do a left hand rear brake. I don't want to do an auto clutch, but I had a left hand rear brake on my KTM and I love using the rear brake and I'm coming from a lot of mountain biking makes you so much faster in my case downhill than, than having to uh, hit the rear brake with my foot. So I'm going to do that as well. And um, there was one other thing. Oh, moose, mooses. I'm going to do moose uh, in the tires. Um, John, uh, the fella that was there the first day on the two stroke, he runs them in all of his bikes. And he had a set on this, uh, that Riehu that basically are at like an eight pound PSI. I think that would be fantastic. I've done tubeless in the past. Tubeless are good, but still, if you want to deal with absolutely no problems, like a, like a pinch flat or still losing the air in a tubeless and having to run a flat all the way back to camp, which you can do, I think Moose is going to be the way to go. The only reason I didn't do it previously is they're expensive. So I think to get them mounted in the whole shot, I'm probably going to spend you know, 400 bucks or something like that. But I'm going to have this bike for a really long time. Being able to hop on the street with a plate is priceless. Uh, I'm not having to, to, to uh, rely on always being in dirt or finding your way back via trail. So I'm going to spend a few more bucks on it and get it really perfect. But really, really good bike. Um, electric start, no kickstart situation. I mean, it fires up every time. Having that trail tech, I had the tracking on yesterday. And that was that was really nice to track and see your uh, to see your whole path. Um, that's really all I ever want in a GPS for a dirt bike, and not having to put a Garmin on there is, is pretty nice. So um, I'd like to see if I can get some uh, cheap, you know, black and white topo uh, to come up on there would be cool. And uh, I don't know if it'll do that or not. So guys I hope you enjoyed uh, all the ride uh, videos I have a lot of work to do with my single track skills I'm obviously not a good rider in the sense of this kind of stuff I need a lot of practice I spend all my time in the desert going fast in sand and I'll, this is so much fun I just want to get better at it um, and I want to stand the whole time as much as possible and do those hard sections and clear them uh, the harder it is and the more of a challenge, the more you want to go back and conquer it. Uh, it's such a blast. So like, and, uh, like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. You know, I'm sure I forgot to talk about things with the dirt bike. So if you have questions about it, you're thinking about buying one, throw a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer as fast as possible. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more of this stuff, you like it, it helps me out if you subscribe to the channel. Um, we do all kinds of videos between camping and dirt bikes, enduro, glamis, side-by-sides. I'll throw fishing and other stuff in there too because I just like to do anything outdoors. I love it all. But hopefully you all had a good weekend. Don't know when these videos will come out. Probably first part of October. And uh, we'll see the rest of you glamis guys out pretty dang soon. Season's about to fire up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you everybody and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.